Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a kind of reaction to the latest uh, trailer released from Night Dive Studios concerning the System Shock remake. Uh, more specifically, it's the System Shock research tr teaser trailer, and we'll get into I yeah, yeah we'll get into it. So, anyways, let's uh, let's check it out. And I just blew my eardrums out. Okay. Okay, so the first issue there, guys, is the soundtrack. Um, when I edit the video, I'm going to cut in the, the original soundtrack in here. Um, it's If you're a fan of System Shock, it's kind of iconic. It's It gives the game a different feel, a different flavor, a sort of edge. call it campy but it the game is certainly survival horror the game is certainly you know has a horror bent to it but it also has an action bent to it where i don't know it's hard to explain um you're not supposed to be terrified all the time you know you can be unnerved and you but you know you can be kind of creeped out but at the same time you know you kind of roll up your sleeves and start you know, smashing skulls and stuff. That's kind of the feeling that the soundtrack of the original System Shock evokes a lot of the time, not all the time, but much of the time. Um, it's a fantastic soundtrack. So I'm a little curious why... Well, there's two issues I have with this soundtrack. One, it sort of loses the identity of the original. And two, it sounds extremely like the soundtrack for Prey. And I know Prey was sort of Arcane's stab at making their own system shock game but this is not a remake or homage to prey this is a remake of system shock one which has a very iconic soundtrack so i don't know what the hell they were thinking um and i've i've sort of brought this up before in my other videos on this game but um it's you know it's really kind of getting under my skin now especially since you know, if they wanted to go for, like, a, a more survival... Like, the, the soundtrack that they just played right there. There's something almost peaceful and serene about it, which, again, you know, there were motifs in the Prey soundtrack that had sort of this uplifting kind of, like, again, sort of serenity to them, and they sort of worked for that game because there's a lot of times where you're exploring the station and there are no enemies, and it's just kind of like, you know, 
exploring the, the the world of Talos One and exploring the lives of the people who live there. It's a very personal, you know, the, it's a game about empathy and a game about, you know, the the ancillary characters as much as it, as it is the main characters. So, yeah, learning more about their their lives and stuff. It should be you know somber, but with some serenity and maybe some lightness to it. That's not the that's not what System Shock has ever been about. System Shock is kind of, I don't know, more badass. It's less, you know, less heady in its themes and stuff. And it's more just like, I don't know, it's just awesome. And and the soundtrack of the original really reflected that. And this is so similar to Prey. It's just driving me nuts. And I will cut in uh, the Prey soundtrack here when I edit this. So you guys have some idea what I'm talking about. Um... Another issue I'm bringing up right now, right off the bat, is I will try and cut in the concept art they had for these, uh, this level in particular, in addition to how it looks in the original game. A lot of people on my channel were complaining that the, the, the demo, which is the first level, was pretty dark. It's fairly dark in the original, and they took some, you know, artistic liberties, but this one is also extremely dark, and it's too dark. And you've got the red lights here in the scene set against, I don't, you guys can't really tell this, you'll probably see later. Uh, the walls and, and, and decor on this deck are red as well. So it's just too much red and you can't, you know, there's a point coming up where he shoots a, a cyborg and I didn't know what the hell he was aiming at because I couldn't see anything. I mean, the cyborg was essentially camouflaged in, not even, he's wearing blue and he's in a red hallway. But it's just the lighting is so dark and uh, the the red just kind of masks everything. So it becomes very monochromatic and it's you can't really tell what the hell anything is. So I don't know what what's going on here, but we'll keep going. I will say this if we get to uh, see what I'm saying, guys, it's just it's so dark. And it took me a while to uh sorry i'm just trying to listen to the score a little bit more it should be more haunting it's not super haunting if they wanted to go for that more creepy theme this is pretty cool i don't remember this from the original but Okay, now that I have headphones on, because I, I just watched this through my speakers before, the soundtrack gets a little bit better here. A little bit leaning less on the sort of guitar motifs and getting more electronic. It looks like they sped up the animations for the patch application, which is really smart because I was just playing the demo earlier and trying to heal in the middle of combat or uh, apply a Berserker mod or something like that. It just takes way too much damn time. I mean, I was literally running circles around the enemy just waiting for the damn animation to finish. Now, I personally like the animations. I like, you know, like in games like the Far Cry series and stuff like that. For me, I get more immersed when my character has to physically do the things, you know. Um, if you, you guys may recognize this. I, I've bitched a lot about games like Skyrim where you eat something and it's just, oh, it disappears from your inventory and you get a minor buff to one of your stats. I like to see my character physically eat it, you know, either in first person or if it's a game like Skyrim, you know, maybe I'm sitting in a chair, I can see first or third person. Um, I love in Far Cry especially... Um, two through, I'd say four, where most of the things that you have to do require you to physically 
your character to physically have to do them. So I like that stuff, but at some point you have to take into account gameplay. And if it's too hard, if the combat becomes too difficult because you can't apply these things, you know, at a moment's notice, then there's really no point in using them. Um, unless you're in between encounters or you die and then you're like, okay, I'm just going to reload a save and then prep for the fight, which is not a great way to play. You want play, you, you want gameplay to be dynamic where I can think on my feet and, and try new strategies without having to die and be like, okay, there was an enemy to the left and an enemy to the right, so I'll throw a grenade. You know, you want to be able to do that stuff on the fly and think as you play. So the soundtrack is, yeah, better. Listen to it with headphones, guys. But it's still very Prey-esque. I'm going to have to see if it was the same composer. But overall, good sound design. And regardless of your thoughts on the new soundtrack, um, whether you really, really like it or you think it sucks, I think it should have been either A, an option, a new soundtrack should have been an option, or they should have, honestly, I think it would have made fans happier to remaster um, the original and do some interesting stuff with the original. You know, update the instrumentation, um, maybe change tempo for some of them to give it a different feel while, you know, maintaining a lot of the musical themes. That would have worked better, in my opinion. Um, which, you know, they may actually be doing with this one, but I think these are such a... Even if these are based on the original musical themes from the OG soundtrack, they're too much of a departure. I mean, it's not recognizable right off the bat. Um, I think someone in the comments of one of my last System Shock vids said that... Uh, the med sci theme uh, or the med labs theme was uh, definitely there in the soundtrack, but I've listened to it a couple of times. I can't hear it. Um, so it's really buried because they, they, it's just too much of a departure. So, um, and I'm sure after this comes out, cause I was thinking about it, it wouldn't be hard to mod in the, the original soundtrack at all. Um, and I'm sure someone will, but it's just a shame that a, it's not re already an option and B if they're going to take all the time to hire a, musicians redo the original soundtrack I can't quite tell if those pixelated textures are still a thing or not I always thought they looked terrible I always thought it looked just like there was an like they were placeholder textures almost you know Yeah, that's much faster now. I don't like what they, if, again, I'll, I'll put in the concept art, but I don't like what they did with these parts of the research labs. I think some of the earlier concept art they had looked much more like they do in the original game. I mean, I think the, the first level is a pretty good translation of what the, what the original DOS game looked like. Um, but this one, not so much. See, this is what I'm talking about. What the hell is he aiming at? Then he comes over. Oh, all of a sudden we can see it. Awesome. 
I don't want to jump the gun here, but it seems to me, except for the little, uh, I guess, LCD readout on the uh, gun, um, they have gotten rid of the pixelated textures, although it remains to be seen. I'll, I'll keep my eye out for a couple other things, but a lot of the, the decals and stuff that I've been looking at that in the demo are all extremely pixelated um, are not anymore, which again was a like, I never understood that design choice. What is the point of updating the graphics to have realistic looking textures with lots of high detail models and depth and, you know, photorealistic lighting and all of this stuff. If you're going to give it this real pixelated look up close, like to try and mimic the dot, like the whole reason we people wanted to remake is they didn't want it to have the crappy DOS graphics, you know? So why are you paying homage to like the worst part of the original game? which are the, the technical graphics, not the overall um, aesthetic presentation, but the, techni the technical side of the graphics. So I, don't, I never understood why you pay homage to that. You know, you, you, you play a game like a, a Metroid or something like that, which has a pixel art style um, that works for it. So if you're going to make a, a side-scroller uh, Metroid game, then yeah, use a pixel art style because pixel art is rooted in mosaicism, right? I felt like the pixel art of Ultima Underworld and System Shock was really rooted in just the fact that that's all they had to work with. And if they had better graphics tech, they would have immediately abandoned that other stuff and gone for the better stuff. So there's really no point in trying to recreate that. Yeah, I've, it, I've already said too much, but yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like it just also it's uh, it's juxtaposed. You know, everything else looks so good and maybe not photorealistic. It does. It definitely has a certain art style, but a pixelated texture does not fit with how everything else looks aesthetically. So it's just, it was dumb in my opinion. <clears throat> Okay, the, the soundtrack's grown on me. It is better than it was, but it's still that sort of guitar riff. He's just so prey. Shotgun looks pretty cool. And so does that big mech thing. I don't remember them being... Yeah, I don't remember those being enemies in the original, but... Uh, uh, again, you know, some of those sprites had pretty weird-looking model designs. I, I don't really know. It could have been, it couldn't have been. I don't know. But I think it fits. I mean, there were certainly, there were certainly enemies like that. And it looks like this person is playing on, I can't really tell if they're playing on a controller or, what, or not, but at least it's, yeah, there we go. Um, it's, they're, they're implementing more controller support right now, which is good. I think it's going to be a console release. It's coming out on Xbox and PlayStation. <laughs>
so one thing that gives me pause is the fact that it's the research teaser trailer, as in the research labs level slash deck of the game. And the reason that this gives me pause is if you go onto the Steam page for System Shock or you go onto GOG or whatever, they've listed the release date for System Shock Remake as summer 2021, and it is now July 2nd that this launched, 2021. Um, And they're only now showing off the second level of the game. And they showed off the first level of the game, I don't know what, since 2015, 2014, whenever they started this. Um, and as much as the, the first level has changed and had, you know, better visual fidelity and this and that, by and large, it's kind of the same thing that we've had. I know they had an engine change and everything like that, but I just kept hoping that they were they were revamping the first level so much because that was the vertical slice that was the demo that's the thing that everyone was going to get used to and see a lot of um but i'm just very worried that you know it 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 almost feels like the game is is like episodic content you know because it's like oh now finally we're seeing uh uh research so we spent what five six years looking at uh, the med labs, now we're in the research labs. So at this rate, you know, maybe in eight years it'll finally come out. <laughs> um, I don't think it's that bad, but it, it's clear it's not coming out this summer. That's, you know, Night Dive maybe thinking, hey, this is a great thing to show off to people. But to me, it also still feels kind of unfinished for research labs. Research labs seems to be missing a lot of enemy types. Um, to me, it was unrecognizable from the original game, which is not good, you know, whereas the demo level is very, if you've played the first level of System Shock, it's very recognizable. So, and as I said before, they had some concept art out previously and even some, some pre-built models for the levels and stuff like that, that looked about how I'd expect the research labs to look, and yet... Uh, what they have on offer here is, again, unrecognizable. I was getting lost, and it's a visual mess, too, because of the the monochromatic nature of the the lighting and the color scheme and everything. So, um, and it's too dark. You know, I know they're going for more of a horror vibe in this one, but it's just, yeah, it's too dark. It's too difficult to see what's going on. Again, you know, they have plenty of time to, to tweak all of these things, Because I honestly don't think that it's... It might still come out 2021. We might expect maybe a November, December release date. Maybe early quarter one 2022. Like February, March, something like that. But uh, I wouldn't expect this to drop this summer, to be honest. And um, so far what I'm seeing is fine. Uh, The soundtrack did grow on me a little bit, at least hearing it with headphones now. But it's still, again, I'm gonna gonna paste in the, the Prey soundtrack. Um, especially the couple of the things that I'm thinking of right now off the top of my head. And it's just, it's too similar. And I don't necessarily think you want to invite comparisons to Prey, Um, especially this being the progenitor game to Prey. You don't want to invite those kind of compare. I don't know. Me personally, I I think that the identity of System Shock is way better with, um, with the original, you know, kind of feeling and tempo of that soundtrack. You know, it kind of gets you pumped um, and and kind of makes you feel like, you know, as much as it's a, a sort of a desperate, dire situation, you kind of feel like a badass. And then, of course, there's there's moments in the game where there's very little soundtrack or not much. And those moments, uh, it punctuates the tension because those are usually some of the more difficult moments in the game. So when when the soundtrack's really bumping, I mean, that's when you know that you're supposed to be kind of feeling like on top of the world and it really informs, you know, the the stakes of what's going on. So yeah, I, I have some, this has given me some pause because uh, if they were going to do another teaser right now and it's supposed to be releasing in the next two to three months, um, yeah, if it's supposed to be dropping in the nef- next 12 weeks, I would not just be showing off the second level. Unless we're going to get subsequent other trailers like, you know, maybe four days from now we'll get, you know engineering um or reactor core whatever the hell it's called and then maybe four more days later we'll get storage and then we'll get the corporate suites and stuff like that if we start seeing that and i know that 
it's not like, oh, okay, we finished level one. Now let's move on to level two. I've watched some of the dev uh, diaries and, and dev commentaries. And they, yeah, they've worked on, you know, I've seen them working on corporate suites and and uh, a lot of those other levels. So I know work has been done on them. I just think it's weird that they're only showing us the second level. And it's not even, as far as I can tell, it's not anywhere near up to the level of polish as as the first level is. So it does raise some concerns about when we might actually see the release of the game and when we're going to see more content from them. And also the way it was presented, it kind of felt like when they've presented everything else and it's like, oh, is this like, (laughs) again, almost like episodic gaming. I was like, oh, is this going to be, is this going to be in the demo now? Should I go check my, my install and see if there there are any uh, updates waiting for me? So yeah, anyways, I mean, I'm not, I'm not all doom and gloom. It still looks really good. It's still, you know, pretty much checking a lot of boxes for me. I'm just nitpicking because I want it. And I've said, I think I said this in my, my let's play, my system shock demo let's play. I just want it to be as perfect as possible. As I said, it looks like they've done away with the pixelated, you know, art style for the textures. And you know, if night dive wants to take some risks and do things a certain way, I think when you're doing a remake, how about this? Just make them options. You know, if you think that the pixelated texture look, looks better, okay, but it should be an option, not like a forced aspect of the game. If you want to experiment with a new soundtrack, great, make it an option. You know, don't don't force one thing or the other. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure that they haven't, you know, there, there's no time or money to to remaster or, or remix the original soundtrack. But like I said, um, at least give you the option to play with the original soundtrack at the appropriate levels. And, you know, because if not, someone's going to mod it anyways. Uh, and these are, these are all the same sort of gripes I had before. I was a little dismayed because, um, yeah, like I said, you know, the research labs is unrecognizable and it's too dark, you know, in terms of just pure gameplay, it's just, it's going to be a very, very tough game to play because everything is going to be camouflaging into the walls. You know, there's so much detail and so much busyness on all the, the, the walls and panels and textures and stuff and glowing lights and bits of steam that, you know, finding things like those little spiders or hell, even that one point, I'll see if I can find it again. Yeah, it's about right here. Let's see if we can get, I can barely see that. Look at that. He's supposed to be shooting at a side. I can't see shit over there. And then you go over, it's not like he was hiding behind a wall or anything. He was just completely occluded by this patch of darkness here because the game is too dark. Again, guys, I'm overly optimistic um, about the System Shock remake. That's just like I said, I'm nitpicking because, you know, I want it to be as perfect as possible. I don't know if the devs will see this or not, but at least to get a conversation with the general community started about what should and shouldn't be in the final product because it seems that they did listen to people when they had that terrible art style before and and everything although there there are aspects of the unity version that i do kind of miss kind of like but whatever i think overall it's it's looking pretty good um and it you know i just i recently uh, like i said i was playing the demo just to see if there was anything different or 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 whatnot, and uh, it still plays great. It plays fantastic, and it plays like, you know, well, it feels a lot like System Shock 2 because it's got the full mouse look support, and, you know, you can just tab in and out of your inventory, and it's really seamless like that, and System Shock 2 was like that, moving from 1 to 2. So um, that's a good thing, though, because it, it feels like a System Shock game. So it plays, in my opinion, very well, um, there, there are some tweaks, I would say, like I said, I'm glad to see that the, the patches, the animations for those are, seem to be sped up a bit, um, and maybe, uh, kind of edited down, um, because it was just, it would take way too much time previously to, to apply them. Another thing I would say is, uh, there's a certain enemy type that drops proximity bombs and there's not a great visual indicator as to where there's the sound. Sure. But you like if they drop near you you really don't have much time i was playing every single point in the in the demo i die at the same exact point 
even though I know it's coming because those proximity bombs will drop and sometimes they'll be right at your feet and you're just like, oh crap, you're trying to get out of there and you get killed. So I don't know. I would, I would recommend tweaking those because that's a huge part of the difficulty curve right there. But uh, other than that, no, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly happy with how it's, how it's shaping up. That's my two cents on e the System Shock research teaser trailer. This dropped unexpectedly. I just checked it out. And like I said, the only reason I did a video on it was I'm a little concerned about when this game will be ready to ship based on the fact that it's only now within the, the, the sort of three month window to release that we're seeing anything really about the second level of the game. If this teaser had gameplay from, like I said, basically like little snippets from the rest of the campaign, then I would be saying, oh, okay, it's probably gonna it's probably gonna drop soon. But the fact that they're only showing off the second level, yeah, guys, don't don't hold your breath for it dropping this summer. Um, and you know, it looks even though it, even the research level looks like it still needs a little bit of work. So once again, I'd like to say. You know, I, I think this is an issue where I'd, I'd rather the game get delayed just a little bit more, maybe another six months for them to, to really make the entire thing great than, than try and stick to their release window and release something, you know, kind of like Underworld Ascendant that's going to need to be patched and fixed. And unfortunately for the other side entertainment guys, you know, they just didn't have the money to actually fix it. So what, you know, the, the, the version that exists now is certainly better than what they shipped, but it's not really up to where it was supposed to be based on the Kickstarter promises. So we don't want that kind of situation again. So I'm more than happy to let Night Dive take as much time as they need um, to get it done right. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. That's going to be about it for me.